They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Hey guys, back in 370 here. So, today we're playing some Bioshock 1 as you can see on the screen right now. Um, well, I just decided to do this one because uh, Bioshock 1 and 2 are my favorite games of all time. And uh, I decided to share this with you and I was thinking that it would be a fun experience to uh, talk about these games which are uh, quite interesting for me personally. And uh, Sorry if I don't fill every single moment of the video of commentary. I want you to hear the dialogue and uh, different uh, cinematic moments um, that happen throughout this game. Because um, I want because the storyline is really deep if you uh, really pay attention to it. And I want you guys to understand it all. And if you don't, you can always send me a message or leave a comment, and uh, I'll do my best to answer your question. Now, um, you're playing God's uh, sabotage where you're flying. I have. No idea where I was flying to. Uh, hey guys, sorry about not posting a video in a while. It's been about 12 days, 13 days, just because I've been uh, a little busy and I've been waiting for something. Um, I have a new video out on gaming VH most likely right now. Um, I'll post a annotation right about now, I believe. Uh, I'm not totally positive, but it should be out. Let's say Nazi zombies on Shinonuma and. Uh, if you guys came from there, then uh, welcome to all my new subs and uh, welcome to all my new viewers. Now, um, so here we're still above land. We're gonna be setting down a rapture here as the door is conveniently open and uh, closes as we get inside. The lights uh, begin to turn on, and as we read the sign, "No gods or kings, only man," which is, uh, in my opinion, a pretty powerful statement. It's just trying to tell you that there's no rulers, there's no, they don't beliefs down here. It's just, it's Rapture is yours, and you, what you do with Rapture is what Rapture becomes. So, again, I think it's a pretty good metaphor. Um, Rapture, this place takes you 1960, I think it said at the start, and uh, Rapture is about 30 fathoms underneath the sea or the Atlantic Ocean, or uh, and. Uh, I'll let you guys watch this little cinematic that pops up in a sec, and I'll talk to talk to you after. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question: Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Alright guys, so as you heard Andrew Ryan announces a little introductory scene there. Um, you can see a big daddy there appearing a window and you can see uh, a whale. Uh, I know it's pretty dull and pretty obvious, but I just like to point little things out like that. When you look at this place, it's incredibly detailed. It's very well done. It's a great game. Um, as you heard there, I paused and let you guys listen to everything, and hopefully it's loud enough. If this video gets a good response and uh, some good comments and ratings and things, then I will. And some thumbs up, you know, some good thumbs up, a lot more thumbs up and down. I will post two parts, I'll post more of this, I was going to say two parts, but I'll post uh, as much as I can of this, as much as I have, and uh, since my old Steam account got hacked, I don't have this game anymore, but uh, I'll try to, I'll rebuy it for you if you guys, if you guys really want to see the whole thing, and I'll let you guys watch the cinematic. Let me go! You keep 
So here we, uh, I pause the game and I tinker of the settings a little bit. I have to uh, change some things on it. And, uh, here I'm gonna stop recording for a minute and I'll fast forward this little section. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. I had to just stop the commentary for a second and uh, I fast forward this part where I tinker of the menus because I just probably don't want to watch it. And it's really not that entertaining. I just try to uh, speed it up. Um, I am playing on the PC once again, but I'm using an Xbox 360 controller plugged in to my uh, USB port. And uh, this game is really beautiful looking. It's a survival. The first Bioshock is a survival horror, while well, the second one's more action packed and story based. Um, Rapture is really slum, torn down town, and it's a really, really intense place. Alright guys, so I'm going to talk over them a little, you can read the subtitles if you really want to know what's happening. Um, now, the music in Bioshock is really great in my opinion, it's really good, it's really good, it really matches, and I don't know how the producers of this game made such a good game, but whatever they're doing, they did it right. They did it very, very right. I mean, look at that, like, it's a good survival horror aspect, the music starts exactly pushes it over, it's really great enemy like sneaks up behind you over there. Uh, some parts of the game lag a little. When you get to the later part, it's around part like 5 or something, or 4. Um, the quality will get a lot better, and uh, it'll be really, really good. And uh, yeah, because I get, because this is an old recording, but a uh, fresh new commentary, or a brand new commentary, I should say, that I'm redoing on an older video, and I get my new video card about 5 videos in or something around that. Um, so you inject yourself with the electrobolt plasmid and you lose control of yourself. And, uh, I'll let you guys watch this whole cinematic and I'll be back. Steady now. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. Looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Hear that? Let's bark. Weak. You're a weak shopper. These little fish ain't worth telling it with no big daddy. Yellow always had been. You'll be no better off with metal daddy, little fish. See you floating. Alright guys, so uh, I'm back, so there's only a little bit of time left, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next part coming in a couple days.
fistful of lightning now, is there?